Welcome back to Timber Borners. This season has been extremely hard and stressful. Let's have a moment of silence for all the beaver deaths. So far this season, starting from now. Oh no, the song has finished. This is the moment of silence. Shut up, stop talking. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Engebrary. Brary. <laughs> <laughs> There's not meant to be two hours of that, just one. This is the lovely hamlet of Engebri, uh, where our beavers are current. I was, was going to say currently enjoying, but they're not really enjoying because half of the land is flooded. Thankfully, we are building a dam, uh, and we are we are getting there. So I think we've got like one, probably like ten bits of dam to go. Because once we get to there, then we've got like a segment reclaimed. Uh, all these buildings we can reuse again. We can start using these carrots, which have drowned. But yeah, last time we started working on this over here, this is going to save our season. As last week's thumbnail told you, uh, we basically did a Britain and we reclaimed this land from the natives and we got a few buildings going in and we're going to plant some trees as well. Um, and it's all within our, our single district. So we don't have a second district required. We do have one ready. All systems go. If you remember, they they unblocked this, um, which is sort of keeping the water levels reasonable. I mean, water is now escaping the map, whereas it wasn't before. But yeah, at the moment, the main thing is to build these dam pieces, which means if we head back over to this island, the... Oh, actually, look! We've already got all the we got all the resources in there. So that forester hut is going to be built ASAP, and then we can start planting trees. That is perfect. Although I have realized, uh, if you look and plant trees, they are all the maples. They take 30 days to grow uh, before we can get logs out of them. So what it might be worth doing first is select the birch trees because they just take nine days per log as you can see there. So what I might do, let's just do a nice strip like that. And then, oh look, the forester flag is done. And inside there is Seg Jiwei. He is going to prioritize the birch trees sorted. Okay, so we should plant those first um, and then the maples should get going as well. <laughs> He's never going to plant all those maple trees, is he? I might need another forester thing. Anyway, looking at all the resources, we're good for water. Food, oh yeah, food is bad. Yeah, so what was the deal with food? I think, yeah, we're growing, we're growing carrots. Oh, they're very close to being done. 94% of their, of their four day cycle. So I might add another worker to join Mary to harvest those. Uh, Cause yeah, we do, we have some hungry beaver. <laughs> we have some hungry underwater beavers. Yeah, we have no food to feed them. Didn't I, wasn't I doing like berry stuff over this way? Oh yeah, here we go. So I built berries. I built berries. To oh, I, I nearly forgot about you. Blue fire wolf. I nearly forgot about you. So they are, they are starving, they're dehydrating, and they're unsheltered. Um, because... Oh, so annoying, that. Because I blocked them behind the path with that annoying... Oh, so annoying. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get rid of one of the berry gatherers. So yeah, let's demolish that. Be free, Blue Fire Wolf. You can get back now. All right, nice. That is good. That is sorted. Um, so is someone working? Oh, no one's working in there. Anyway, this is meant to prioritize blueberries. We need we need another beaver. We've only got 12 beavers, remember? There's, there was a bit of trouble in last week's episode. We, um... We lost a few good beaver lives. Uh, so I need to have a look and see what can we spare. Oh, actually, we've sort of, we've solved the crisis because the carrots have grown. I'll tell you what then. Let's add another worker to that. Susan, Elizabeth, Thea, whatever you were doing down there, it's now time to harvest some carrots. So I think we're probably good for food now. And um, I'll tell you what as well. Can you see I've paused all of these corner pieces because they're not actually needed to stop the water? I may as well just delete them, gain some space. Like by leaving them in, that's literally just a product of architecture. They don't physically do anything. Right, oh man, look at all the carrots growing. Okay, so I think we're finally good for food. As long as we got enough people to harvest them, which it looks like we've got, we've now got 16 food there. Yeah, I think food is fine. Logs, we're still slacking. Uh, let's just fast forward through the night. There we go. Oh, and I've just been reminded, look, we got two days until the drought. Now, usually in Timberborners, the drought is like dreadful. Uh, on this map, because we are fighting the water, uh, droughts are actually a good thing, though they should let the water levels recede a bit. Should make like, perhaps getting these a bit easier, because at the moment, we've we propped up our lumberjack flags on these stilts, um, but I might just be able to 
put a few more like close to that end just to get just to get all these logs. Um, and then I need to think like long term what do I want to do here. I've got like a couple of theories, a couple of ideas of how I can save myself. One obviously is continuing the mega dam to sort of go around the entire island. Not only will it act as a good wall defense against pirates and things, uh, but also help me reclaim all that land. Um, alternatively, I was thinking I could possibly look at dynamite. So if we come down to the landscaping tab, you can see we have dynamite there, which we need to unlock for 600 science. An explosives factory for 400 science. You can see that needs planks, gears, and steel. And in order to get steel, we need a smelter. So we need more gears, as well as actually locating some metal. Oh, look, the drought has started. Oh, man, look, that quite a lot of water actually. I was hoping the water might recede enough that we could build more on there, but I don't think we will. I think if I want these logs, I'm gonna have to do some more building. Ugh. Uh, previously, you can see I put these on levees. Now the comment section was pretty, uh, pretty rude to me last time. <laughs> They kindly reminded me that, um, Matt, you're wasting you're wasting a lot of logs by doing that because a levy costs 12 logs, um, whereas they recommended I use platforms. Now, the thing with platforms is they take two logs, but four planks. And if you look in the top left, you can see we have no planks. Uh, we were making them, and I guess we could still make them. Now we've got more beavers, we could turn this very efficient building back on. Uh, however, that is two jobs and the time needed. I'm not sure if it's better to save logs or not. Either way, I need the planks to build the stairs. So, yeah, okay, we'll unlock the platform for 100 science. We'll plonk it there, put a lumberjack flag on top, and then we'll fire these up once we have some logs. I'm not actually sure if we're going to be able to get more logs. Oh, no, I'm having doubts. I'm having doubts. How are we going to get more logs. I think this forester has we demolish that. Yes, look, it's got planks in it. So we can get six planks back and eight logs. So that will build some stairs at least. Oh, we got some chestnut trees down here. So that's that's some more logs potentially in range. And then, oh no, it's just out of range. We'll put the lumberjack flag there instead, which should be closer to this. So when I click on that, yes, all those trees are in range. So that's a lot more logs. So high priority, both of those sorted. Okay, so wood and stuff, we should be fine. And um, I could actually destroy those levees to get more logs as well, because that is a lot of useful resources. And then we can build these. So if I super high prioritize all of this stuff, then hopefully we can cut those down. And that's loads of new logs. Oh, I may have just saved myself. I may have just saved myself. Uh, we're a third of the way through the drought, by the way. Water level hasn't receded at all yet. Uh, so what it might be worth doing instead. Yeah, let's just let's add some more builders. So I think the builders come and they collect all the all the rubble and stuff as well. Oh, look, that's actually, that's dried out there. There's a bit of green underneath. Yes, the steps are done. Okay, so that's good. That's good. We're close to more logs. Yeah, looking at other resources, food is... Oh man, food's going down quite fast, actually. So it could be worth getting another berry gatherer over here. I mean, there's quite a lot of berries in there now. But uh, we're sort of staying like half, half picked those berries. So that's probably fine. I could maybe add another one. We'll see. I just got to be careful of placement, not to trap another beaver there. Whoa, 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 whoa. The water's receded. The water has receded. Oh man, look how much land we could actually have if the water level could be stayed there. So going back to the dynamite thing, what I was thinking, if I could get the dynamite, I could make this trench slightly lower, uh, which might keep the water at this sort of level instead, because that gives me so much more land to work with. Um, the trouble is, it does mean all of our plants in the middle there, they're too far from water and they will die. Uh, so yeah, not ideal that. But um, yeah, just like that, the drought is over. So the water is returning. You can see all these waterfalls. They are now flowing. Not ideal. Uh, at least in terms of like this. Oh no, you knob. <laughs> Someone just went in that farm and they planted all these carrots. And oh no, no, no. that's actually genius. That's actually genius. Because look, we finished. We finished the mega dam. We finished the mega dam. Although we haven't. We've got. We got a hole in it. Oh, we need. We need the hole to get over to this now. Oh, hang on, hang on. I need to do a, re a bit of rebuilding. So basically, I need to. I need to block this wall. So if I wanna. If I wanna get to those stairs down there, I need to. 
handily all three of those. I then need to put my levee there and then do like a humpback bridge just by doing stairs either side, a path on top, super high prioritize that. And then we can still use all this. And I haven't even trapped a beaver on this side. Beautiful. I'm actually learning. Uh, the thing is, I need to build this before the floodwaters rise. And, um, and our builders don't work through the night unless I press this button a few times. But you can see Rusty Gold there. They've delivered the logs. Yes, the dam's in. The dam is in. Yes. We've gained. We've gained land. All this land. And look, not only that, if we turn it back down to non-24 hour working, we've got another barrack open. All these people, they can sleep in there. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Pause, pause. We've got no water. <laughs> Where's the water gone? Oh, God. Okay, we need to unpause these. Okay, I forgot. When when the water, like, when the water level drops, our two water pumpers over here, the incredibly talented log pumpers, Tezgwin and Alexander McDowell, um, you can see their, their straws get completely dry. So if we pause both of those, they should move over to these two ones. All right, pump. Pump your wood like your life depends on it. We need water. <laughs> Oh, dear. Um, another thing worth doing, perhaps I should up the priority of these two water pumpers. Um, it's quite a lot of logs, but then this is like, I think this is a any season sort of storage of water. Like whether it's dry season or wet season, we're going to be going to be able to pump without worrying about shifting jobs and stuff. Uh, the good news is we've got we got loads of our water storage back because this is not flooded, which means we can use it now. Now, what's that warning? You're oh, no. So the logs down there are now gone. So that was only a super temporary fix. Oh man, okay. We need more logs. We need we need this to get built. And we can't build that until we can get out this side, which means we need these stairs to be built. And they need planks. So do we have any buildings we can demolish that use planks? <laughs> Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, and look at that. Right, so these two are now flooded. So pause both of those. Unpause these two. And we're just waiting for my tip to get wet on that log. So this one can pump. It's just about just about moist at the end of that one. This one, very much dry. So come on, water. Get back up there. Thankfully, it seems like no one died of thirst. We have lost a couple of OG beavers to old age. Susan, Elizabeth Thayer, Matt Crosskey, you guys will be missed. Thank you for your efforts. The beaver colony wouldn't be where it's at without you guys. Um, oh, blooming out, blooming out, look, logs, logs. Over here, the birch have grown, which means logs, glorious logs. We need to unpause some lumberjack flags and mark the entire island to be cut down by the lumberjack flags so that the beavers will come over and chop them down. They are gnawing their little teeth off and turning birch trees into logs because our colony needs logs. Lots of logs, glorious logs. So I can cut down more logs. Right, so I think we're, I think we're partly saved again now the log situation at least over there that's gonna really really help us although look how slow our beavers are because they're thirsty but yeah hopefully we can use those logs to build these deep water pumps and then that will fix the water situation sort of forever um oh man i'm so i'm so pleased we finished the mega dam look how much more space we have and we've regained all of our buildings so we've actually we've well speaking of logs we got log storage down here we've got loads of water storage we've got the barracks We've got the farm and farmland. I'm mean, actually looking at food. Look how much food we have. We've got so much food. It's beautiful. Um, science. We are racking up the science. We've had four scientists working away. We're on to 1.2 thousand science. Um, so probably time to look at the bigger picture again. I can relax a little bit short term because um, I did get very distracted when I was describing like the dynamite thing, like what my other option was. Because um, obviously getting dynamite going to take a lot of resources. We need to try and mine these these ruins for scrap metal get gears on the go which needs power source and oh man sounds like a lot of work if i'm honest and i'm not really i'm not really into that we could put a new district over here then this is quite a nice little area we've got the berries which we're already exploiting we've got dandelions which i mean they're okay yeah we've also got a load of chestnut trees here which chestnuts provide us with food the trees provide us with wood there could be a decent area to go alternatively i could look at trying to like build on the rim of this thing because essentially we're in like we're in a flood bowl we're in a flood plain uh, so getting to high ground is probably sensible so yeah what i'm thinking if i do a new district over here we can do stairs up to like this point then we've got access to all these trees uh, 
as well as a big water source, should we need more water. And but also, I'm looking at this. This is like a running water channel. There is a dam there, so I could potentially demolish that uh, to let more water out. And I think, looking at this, looking at the levels, I assume all that will do is push more water down there, which means I could get some water wheels in here to create a nice supply of power. Because at the moment, I think the only water is coming from this water source block. Uh, so in like the dry seasons, there won't be any water running down there. But if they were gone, I imagine there's enough like water depth in there that will just happen all the time. There is sort of a third plan as well uh, involving dynamite. Now, I feel like the dynamite down here is a pretty good solution, but there is another solution as well. Um, I could make it my mission to visit each of these waterfalls, each of these water spawner blocks. Um, and I could literally like dam up this waterfall and then dynamite like well, out the back, so the water falls off the map. I mean, I could come to, like, each corner of the map and try and, like, I could do, like, a channel along there, dam along the front. So I could literally block up all these waterfalls to stop water coming in here, or at least limit how much I want to come in. Maybe I could put floodgates on them or something. Um, that could be a really, really long-term plan. Yeah, so not really... Oh, man, I'm not really sure what I want to do next. Maybe let me know in the comments, because I feel like this this could be, like, several episodes worth of progress to try and do any of those. And um, I think to start with, I'm probably going to look to make a new district over here first. Well, yeah, in order to get a path over here, I'm going to have to dig up some berries, actually. So let's come into the demolish stuff button. Let's say demolish that demolish that and demolish that. I think if those three get demolished, I think I can then sort of path around there really easily. Uh, then we have a path coming over this way. And I think my plan here is to get up there. All right, so if I click on our district center of Enjabri, I can come over here and follow the line. And I can see, so we can place buildings up to that line. We can actually build up to there. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, because this is this is a bit of a it's a bit of a scenic route, isn't it? I could actually I could put a shorter route in here. So perhaps instead, if I it's going to cost me some stairs, but if I put stairs there and click on this, you can see those stairs well in range. So Enjabri will build those, and that should extend the area. I might be able to build some of these stairs using Enjabri resources. I'm not going to lie, not a fan of the districts. I I just I just want all my beavers to like work together. Anyway, to build all that stuff, we're going to need logs and planks. And looking at resources. We have no logs uh, and we, we have no planks either. So not ideal. Let's see how they got on with these. Oh, yes, the humpback bridge. It's actually it's in. We got stairs either side, which means our beavers can come over this way and they should be able to build this platform. Oh, we're short of three planks. But uh, in the lumber mill, we got no logs to turn into planks anyway. Can we pull for some logs from somewhere? Or actually, that inventor, that's, that's nine logs in there. Yeah, get those back. Right, and then, oh, wait, 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 where are you going with the logs? Where are you going with the logs? No, 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 they're built. Oh, no. All right, oh, this is so annoying. I tell you what, I'm going to have to pause all this dam. I don't want to build this dam yet. I need planks. Come on, we got to get... How do I get logs to the lumber mill? Well, it looks like... Is he going in there? He's going in there? It's blue. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're making we're making planks. Although, okay, where, where are you guys going? Oh, there's a building there. Oh, no, no, stop. Okay, stop. Don't build that. Don't build the aquatic farmhouse. Don't build that deep water pump either. Just, we just want planks. It's okay, though. We got one log in there. So that's one plank at least. Um, and what do we need for this platform? One more plank. Okay, so we're good. We should be able to build the platform and then the lumberjack flag. And then we can get those logs finally. And then we're back on track. I mean, we may as well just wait for these birch to grow again. Yes. Yes! Okay, it's built. It's built. And this shingun is in there. They are... Oh, yes. We are mining trees, which means we have logs. Logs! Glorious logs! All right, now we have a constant plank supply. Can we... Oh, no, it's out of range. Yeah, look. Look how close the... Oh, look how close the boundary was. I'll tell you what. I'm tempted temporarily since we have the planks and the logs. Oh, look, another drought started. It's 6.9 days long. Nice. But yeah, I'm tempted to just let these trees grow. And then if I just move this district center and I can build all this stuff, then that will allow me to like get this sorted, get the new district in. So Enjabri district center, boost, you're dead. If I plonk a new one there. Oh, look, that covers all of it. Okay, so yeah, boost, shove that there quickly rename it to Enjabri. I mean, that is great. But the other thing as well, look, this is what I meant about up, up the top here. I think the water level there has stopped. So if we did have water wheels in there, they, they wouldn't be spinning. So I have to get rid of those damp. I might even have to like dynamite that out if I want it to go on. Um, but oh, look, they're building the stairs so quick. 
this is awesome. So yeah, what I might do, I might get them to build this new district, like fully outfit it. So everything I need just done for me. So everything I need, I'm going to need a platform to cross this. So we'll shove that there and I'll do like a path across. Oh, I need a deep water pump. I want to put it there, like where the deep water is. So if I do that, then I need to get rid of those two berries to get a path there. And then I can path over to it. Nice. We're going to need storage as well as gatherer flags. So if I put three storage down there, I can make one of them, one of them logs, one of them berries and one of them chestnuts. I also shove some water storage down. Maybe three should be fine. And then I want to get across there with platforms. I could unlock the double platform actually. 150 science. Yeah, why not? I got loads of science. Oh wait, no, no, I don't need, oh, I don't need that. Look, couldn't see what was happening levelly there. But I just need single platform and then stairs. And then I'm on the other side. And that's where I want another lumberjack flag. And then in the power, I can look at water wheels. So we got compact ones, which are, they're pretty small actually. Is it worth unlocking the big one? 200 science. Yeah, let's see. Oh no, they're huge. <laughs> we'll just build the compact water wheels because we can, we can sort of stack these anyway. So if we build like that, that is a lot of power. We can do a shaft out of there as well. And then all of those can go into powered buildings. So should we unlock the gear workshop? I think we should. 100 science, unlock. So we got two gear workshops, two plank workshops, path out the front. And then let's just hope we can build that once we've, once we've got those stairs in. But yeah, hopefully our, our original beavers of Engibri, they can build that and then we can make this a separate district. Um, oh, I, do I want to build? I might want to build a farm actually. Oh, that's not good though. That's not a good sign. Look at all the water disappearing in dry seasons. Yes, maybe I'll want some floodgates up here or something. I don't know, but for now, I think I think we've got a good plan of where we're heading, what we want to do with ourselves. So if you guys enjoyed, push the like button. Let me know where you think I should work on next. And but for now, pretty impressed. Peace, love, and beavers. Bye, guys.